Hi, welcome to the Santa Fe Pony Express. My name is Shelly Hale. We're in Jackalope. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my spirit crosses. My spirit crosses evolved from a period of great loss in my life, but they're actually about the celebration of life and connection with spirit. Many hours labor of love go into these crosses from the cutting of the wood, the gluing, the multiple layers of paint and glazes, and once I get the initial wood part finished, I move on to the embellishment, where I search uh, antique stores for vintage pieces of tin, like these, that I cut and punch. I use some new tin that I paint on, and I also use some pieces of recycled tin. This is actually a piece of recycled uh, silver plate. So a number of different metals, including copper. I'd like to introduce a few of these crosses to you. This is one of my favorites, Madre d'Amour. They're all chunky, uh, rustic, yet elegant crosses. This one is Alma, Soul, Paz, Peace. I don't know if you can see, but they're all two colors, one color showing through with another layer of paint on the top. Go over here and I'll show you. Here's a flower one that I call Passionaria or Passion Flower. These crosses can be freestanding, which is the way I prefer them because the backs are all done with beautiful patterns as well. This is my first day of the dead cross. This is both new tin that I have uh, punched and painted and uh, old recycled pieces. This is actually a vintage piece right here. Let me show you the backs. You can, you could attach hardware to these if you wanted to hang these on a wall. Then you wouldn't see this gorgeous back. This one is Celestial Copper and Punch Tin. Over here I have a Fragancia de Vida, Fragrance of Life, which is another combination of vintage tin and uh, painted recycled tin. This is one of my favorites, Epiphany. It's a vintage petty point tin. This is three layers of uh, a painted uh, punch tin. And over here is my largest. These crosses are range in size. This would be the 18 inch size right here in height. I'd like to show you the, the, the new one I just brought in today. I was a little reluctant to even bring it from my home because I love it so much. This is a black um, undercoat with a cream over the top and then has multiple glazes in gold and copper over the top of that. Um, I knew I wanted to do one in these color tones and I was on a little vacation and ran into this gorgeous vintage tin piece in golds. It's got gold, it's got a uh, brownish copper, it's got black, and it's got cream. And there it was. I, I knew before I even started how this was going to how this was going to come out. Of course, I didn't know exactly how it would look. While I was working on this cross, and while I'm working in my studio on any of my work, I always have music going in the background, all types. I happen to have Coldplay on, but I was when I was making this cross, and I thought, there's, there's the name of my cross, Paradise. Chris Martin's song, Paradise, came on. So, I would be thrilled if Chris Martin were to come in our gallery 
and uh, bring his beautiful wife, Gwyneth Paltrow, in here because I think this would just be perfect for her. All of my crosses are finished on the bottom as well. Turn this over. Did I say what this one was? Paradise. They're all named and numbered and signed. And let's show you the back of this one as well because I think this turned out beautiful. I don't know if you can see the coppers on there and the golds, but this one is 26 and a half inches. The biggest I've done so far, but I plan to go even larger with some four standing ones. So come in and visit us or check out all the crosses online. Thank you.